The National Hispanic Heritage Month commemorates the culture and heritage of Latinos and Hispanic Americans in the United States. The month-long celebration runs from September 15th to October 15th. The celebration coincides with National Independence Days in Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Mexico, Chile, and Belize, among other Latin American countries. President Lyndon B. Johnson declared the first Hispanic Heritage Week, which was sponsored by Congress in 1968. President Ronald Reagan extended it to a month in 1988. On August 17, 1988, the Hispanic Heritage Month became law. The date September 15 was chosen to commemorate the 1812 independence of five Latin American countries, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Honduras, Guatemala, and Nicaragua. On September 16, Mexico declares independence from Spain, followed by Chile on September 18 and Belize on September 21. The United States, Canada, and Latin America all observe National Hispanic Heritage Month. The 30-day period is intended to honor the culture, accomplishments, and contributions of Hispanic Americans. Festivals, concerts, film screenings, and exhibits are among the activities. The El Barrio Latin Jazz Festival takes place in the Bronx, New York, from September 15th to September 25th. The National Museum of American History hosts Hispanic dance performances and exhibitions throughout the month. During this time, Chicago hosts the annual Latino Music Festival. Hispanic is an ethnic group that includes people from Cuba, Puerto Rico, South or Central America, Mexico, and other Spanish cultures. The ethnic group was classified as Hispanic or Latino in the United States in 1997. Hispanics are the second fastest growing racial group in the United States, accounting for 18% of the total population. Today, there are approximately 57 million Hispanics in the United States. As of 2014, California, Florida, Illinois, New York, and Texas had the largest Hispanic populations, with a million living in Washington, Virginia, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, New Jersey, Arizona, Nevada, Massachusetts, Georgia, Colorado, and North Carolina. Adult Latinos are estimated to be 55% Catholic. After English, Spanish is the most widely spoken language in the United States. Mexicans account for two-thirds of all Latinos in the United States. Prior to the founding of Plymouth, Massachusetts, the Hispanic cities of St. Augustine, Florida, and Santa Fe had already been established. The Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, signed in 1848, ended the Mexican-American War and allowed for the annexation of Mexican territories, including today's Texas, New Mexico, and California. There are approximately 1.1 million Hispanic veterans in the United States. Latinos from Mexico make up the majority of immigrants in most states. El Salvadorans outnumber Dominicans in Virginia and Maryland, while Dominicans outnumber El Salvadorans in New York and Rhode Island. Furthermore, Cuba is the leading source of immigrants in Florida. In many aspects of American society, an increasing number of Hispanic people have influenced and contributed to the country. Here are a few examples. 
Mel Martinez is the first Cuban-American senator and one of the Senate's two Hispanics. He was also former President George W. Bush's housing secretary. Isabel Allende, Julia Alvarez, Sandra Cisneros, Geraldo Rivera, and Gary Soto are among the well-known journalists and writers. Linda Carter, Cameron Diaz, Emilio Estevez, America Ferreira, Salma Hayek, Jennifer Lopez, Anthony Quinn, Charlie Sheen, Raul Julia, and Sammy Davis Jr. are among the celebrities who have appeared in the film. Among the well-known Hispanic singers are Selena Gomez, Gloria Estefan, Christina Aguilera, Ricky Martin, and Rita Moreno. Oscar de la Hoya, Roberto Alomar, Jose Canseco, Scott Gomez, Pedro Martinez, and Nancy Lopez are all of Hispanic descent. Aside from Roman Catholicism and the Spanish language, Hispanic culture has had an impact on American cuisine. Tortillas, tamales, tacos, various salsas, and condiments such as guacamole, pico de gallo, and mole are among the most popular Hispanic dishes in the United States. Hispanics are known for placing a high value on family. They have more close-knit families than the nuclear family. Family gatherings are common when three generations live in the same house or nearby. Billboard magazine launched the Hot Latin Songs chart in 1986, followed by the Top Latin Albums chart in 1993. Since then, Latino musicians have begun to make inroads into the American music scene.